Hey, what's up YouTube? In this video, I'll be showing you how to make a school bus for all of your city building needs. I do hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you do and you're new around here, please do consider subscribing to the channel and clicking the little bell next to the subscription button. That'll ensure that you get all of my videos sent directly to your sub box. I think it's worth mentioning that I built the school bus because I built a giant school, including the entire inside of the school as well. So if you haven't built the school already, you might want to consider doing it. It's in the card system, the description below, and I'll leave a link at the top of the comment section as well. Absolutely isn't necessary, of course, to enjoy the school bus, but these things do go together like bread and... Bread and ham. Without any further ado, let's get started. So, before we start building, ladies and gentlemen, here are all of the materials that we are going to be using to make the school bus. Please do make sure that you have access to all of those and enough of those materials as well. The amount of space required to make the school bus is a 4 by 11 block area. Feel free to make this grid in your world if you are planning out a city. And that's it. Pause the video if you have to, make sure that you got all that stuff, make sure you got enough room to make it and make sure you're ready. And once you are, we can begin. Step 1 school bus friends, come all the way over to the front left hand corner of our grid. That is, of course, if you've made it. If you haven't, no big deal. We can start pretty much right now anyway. So, the first thing that we're going to want to do is place a half off the ground quartz slab block above the starting position. We then want to extend that quartz slab backwards by one. Then place a black concrete, four more quartz slabs, one, two, three three, four, a black concrete, and then three more quartz slabs. I want you to extend that last slab over across by three, one, two, three, and then you want to copy the row that you did over there, over here. So you want to place two quartz slabs moving forwards, a black concrete, four quartz slabs moving forwards, a black concrete, and then two quartz slabs. Then all you have to do is fill the middle of this in using quartz slabs. And you will be given, assuming that you didn't place the quartz slabs on the ground like I just did, you will be given a platform which will support your school bus. Now you will notice there is a little bit different on the front than the back. That is intentional, don't worry. Once you have done that, I want you to place two black concrete on the front to middle quartz slabs. You can even extend that black concrete backwards around. I want you to place yellow concrete all the way around the edge of the side of the bus. The end result should look like this. I want you to place a row of black stained glass pane on top of those center two black concretes and extend the glass left and right. I want you to then place black concrete behind each of these side glasses. And now we're going to start by adding windows. But it's worth mentioning that on this side of the bus, the side closest to the curb, is where the entrance to the bus is going to be. You can delete this yellow concrete and preemptively place a door there because it will actually interfere with our pattern a little bit. So what we're going to be doing is basically this. We want to place this pattern of blocks coming along the down side of the bus. You want to place glass, black concrete, glass, black concrete, glass, black concrete, glass, black concrete. On the back part of the bus, you can place a double window, just like you have on the front. But on this opposite side of the bus, you want to maintain the same pattern, of course. Like that, so you can see the door would actually get in the way a little bit. Whilst we are at the door, by the way, feel free to chuck a stone button next to the door, and that just acts as an opening device. So, what we next want to do is we want to put a lid on the roof. We want to place black concrete on the front to middle glass of the windshield. 
And then the rest of the roof is pretty much just made out of yellow concrete. So you can just completely fill in the entire top of the bus, minus those two black concretes of course, with yellow concrete. I wouldn't recommend extending the black concrete all the way backwards, as that will make the inside of the bus dark. Plus it actually looks a little bit weird when it comes to the back, I, I don't know why. I think it's because uh, it like it connects diagonally to the other black concretes, but on the front it doesn't. So, it's worth mentioning that we also have to place item frames on the corners of the bus, the front left, front right, back left, back right corner of the bus. Item frames everywhere. We have to place ladders in between the front pair of item frames. We have to place oak signs underneath the ladders on the front, and we're going to do the same on the back, although there are no ladders on the back. This is basically just the license plate, you could call it like School Bus 1, or you could give it I don't know, call it the magic school bus or something if you wanted to give it a funny name. Place stone buttons on the sides of the wheels, like so. And additionally, there is another place that we have to place item frames. It's in the top front and top right, top front left, top front right corners of the school bus like this. So the items that we're going to be using now are white concrete, red concrete, orange concrete, levers, oak fence, oak wood stairs, oak signs, item frames, and a music disc. I like the one with the black in the middle, and you'll see why. So, the first thing that we have to do is we have to fill in some of these item frames. The front pair of item frames are headlights, so red concrete will do. Buses have loads of lights on them, so red concrete for the upper pair. Orange concrete for the indicators. Same on the back. And also, red concrete for the brake lights at the back of the bus as well. Like that. Now this particular bus has one of those, like, stop signs that you can, like, pull down out of the window. So we're going to place a lever here, next to where the driver would sit. Below it, an oak fence. In front of it, an item frame. And in it, a red concrete. We're now going to come inside of the bus. And first, we're going to make the seats. So, we're going to start with the back, and we're going to place a double oakwood stair at the back here, just along the back of the bus. And then, coming along the right side here, we're going to leave a gap, place a seat. Gap, seat. Gap, seat. Just like this. All the way to the front of the bus. In the front position, in front of the front seat, we're going to place an item frame with a music desk. It's kind of like a steering wheel. About as close as you can get, I think. The next thing that we're going to do is just place a lever here, and I think that that acts quite nicely as like a gear shift, or maybe even to open the door, or you know, whatever it is you want to use your imagination for. And now here's where the choices come in. So you can actually put some carpet in the bottom of the bus, it wouldn't be completely uncommon to have like a different colour flooring from everywhere else. So you're more than welcome to perhaps add a little bit of red carpet to the bottom of the bus. This is a little bit optional, you wouldn't have it where the driver is because we can't place it. Or, alternatively, you can also place like signs, if you want, on the sides of the seats. And then that would of course eliminate the possibility of having the carpet, but you could also then keep the carpet in front of the seats a little bit just for a little bit of decoration. All of that's kind of up to you, but once you've kind of made all of those changes for yourselves... So this is what your school bus will look like once it has been 100% fully completed, ladies and gentlemen. Absolutely awesome build to have, especially if you have a school as well. It only makes more sense if you have a school, but of course you could place it in other places as well, because school buses of course have to commute. <laughs> I do hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please do remember to subscribe to the channel if you're new around here, and click the little bell next to the subscription button. That'll ensure that you get all of my stuff sent directly to your sub box. And of course, if you want to make the school and all of the inside of it, or maybe even more city builds, check out the card system, the description below, and I'll even leave a link at the top of the description. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. I appreciate all of you very, very much. I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.